Hey guys, it's Robert again from Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drives and today we are cooking a lamb roast. Well actually beef roast this one is, isn't it Shalom? So uh, what we've done is we've uh, got our Oz pit out um, and uh, we've already put our roast on and uh, we've got our meter uh, device here and so this is a device which actually goes and measures uh, the uh, temperature of the meat and lets us know when it's ready uh, to eat as well. And so you've got to get the uh, probe and you've got to get it in pretty close to the middle. So I'll try and get this in. And you leave it sticking out a little bit, something like that is what we're going to do. And you'll see over here it says tap to set up cook. Uh, so we tap this and uh, we'll say what we're going to be cooking. So it's going to be beef and we're going to cook a roast. And uh, you can select here you know, what um, type of roast you want, rare, medium rare, um, medium well, well done. I think we want a medium well on this one here. So we're going to select that one there. And uh, that gives you your temperature set up over there. And then you click start cook. And uh, yeah, so it goes through and tells you how to insert your meter probe and all that stuff, which we've already done anyway. So essentially you've got to insert it in, so you've got, you've got to make sure you leave it a part of it out. It's got a little line there which you insert your probe up to as well. And uh, just hit start cook. And over here it'll start to estimate your cooking time. So it measures the internal temperature, uh, the target temperature and the ambient temperature. So uh, it's got a little graph over here as well, and uh, you can cancel cook if you need to. But see, you'll, you'll see the different colours, so like that's the internal temperature down there. This is the ambient temperature, temperature outside, which is over here. And this is the target temperature where we've got to get it to. So we've got to get this little bar to go all the way up to the top there. And then um, then it'll be ready to be uh, to be eaten as well. So I'm going to give that a go. We'll get that on the fire. And okay, so the other thing we've got to do, guys, is we're going to need to put our rub on it as well. So we've got uh, some of the rosemary, I think it is. Rosemary and sea salt uh, rub. This uh, rub tastes amazing. Um, so we're just going to get this out and... Uh, get it onto our roast here flies are getting bad out here guys so we've got to try and get this underway eh? Hey? nothing worse than a whole of flies cooking, flying around eh? Hey? so this is not too bad in some spots you know where you I see you know when some of the guys go out back I don't know whether you can even do this out there eh? Hey? Just the amount of flies that are around there. So I'm uh, just going to try and get, pick up some of that stuff from underneath there. That looks good, guys. This um, this rub hay gives an amazing taste to your to your meat. Um, I've tried it a number of times. It's been really good. So, um, so we'll go and get this, and we'll go and put this into the um, into the, the fire pit as well. This is the rub we're using here. So it's uh, rosemary, lemon, and sea salt. So that's the Pit Brothers rub, guys. Uh, later on, we're going to be trying some of their gravy as well. So we'll go get this onto the fire now. Okay, so to get this on the fire, you're going to need to get this guy in here. It's got a little area where you can lift this in and, and slide it in, and you've got to get your um, actual rotisserie part, get that on and then it sort of just sits there just like that and these have like a underneath here you'll see they've got this little uh, um, spring loaded thing so you can actually just lift this up for the moment and you can lower this down as you need to so if you want it a little bit lower you come down and it's got a little spot that actually just sits in there as well and then what we'll do is on the back of this around here just around the back there it's got a little power switch so we'll turn that on and we'll flip that around and that'll actually sit above our fire. So uh, we might just adjust that a little bit and get that tweaked and uh, then we'll show you it all working. So uh, this is the roast setup uh, to go. We're having a beef roast. Couldn't find any lamb roast at the time, unfortunately, so we're going to try it a beef roast. So that's it set up there on the fireplace. And uh, the rotisserie going over the side there. And you'll just need to adjust the, um, the height of this. So at the moment while the coals are going, I've lowered it down. But as those coals get going, I actually probably lift that back up again. Uh, you tend to find that some of the fat actually just drips on it, and uh, then you get a bit of flame, so then it starts to get a bit too hot, and you get the outside burn if you're not careful. So you just got to keep an eye on this, guys, when, it, when it's going. So this is what you see on your um, on the meter app, and uh, you'll see over here it says the internal temperature is nine. 
target temperature 68 and it's showing what the outside temperature is at the moment. One thing I've noticed with this is you always need to make sure that your outside temperature, this one here, needs to go up above it. So we'll leave it sit there for a while because it'll start to climb and uh, you've got to try and keep this one and this one here pretty close together and then your uh, internal temperature will come up to that as well. And uh, that's probably the best way i found anyway, uh, getting a good cook out of it. The responsibility of doing the veggies for our lovely Sunday roast. Um, so we're going to make it as easy as possible when you're camping. I've got some uh, brushed potatoes which I've just given a quick wash. Um, and we're just going to put them in some foil like this. Um, I've cut up some pumpkin, same thing, just throw them in some foil. Um, for a bit of variety we've got some corn, uh, they'll come up really well. We just put them in some coals and then we've got some onion here as well which I've chopped up. Now you could do that in a fry pan but I just sort of figured we might as well do that in, uh, in the coals as well. What we're going to do with the potatoes is um, we're actually going to do a loaded potato. So once we've got these here roasted, um, then we're going to top them with things like pineapple, um, some corn. Uh, so we've got some coleslaw in there and some cheese and, and some sour cream as well. So you could actually do that as a meal in itself, uh, but we're just sort of combining the two. Um, and then we've got some seasonings. Um, this one here, Robert talked about um, the Pit Brothers barbecue brown gravy. Um, basically, you take two spins, two, two teaspoons. We're going to pop it in 200 mils of water, um, and that'll give us a gravy as well. Um, and then we've just got some other condiments, um, which are really easy. So just make this roast as easy as you possibly can, and within um, a few hours, we'll be eating a lovely Sunday roast. Hey okay guys, so we've got the uh, roast over there cooking away. It's uh, cooking away, looking quite nice. We've gone and uh, put the um, corn, and we've got some onion just sitting here as well. We're going to have to turn that around as well. We've got uh, some of the potatoes and whatnot, um, pumpkin sitting in over here. And uh, just down over here, the little meter app's going away, telling us our beef roast and the cooking time. So we've got 28 minutes remaining roughly. So uh, this probe here, this is the ambient temperature, it's the outside temperature. You always want to have that one up above your blue one. So initially it'll start below, and you want to get that up above it. You don't want to have it too high above it, but, uh, so you've just got to keep an eye on it and just adjust your, um, the height of the meat, height of the meat uh, on the, um, the actual uh, rotisserie over there, just to get it just about right. And then slowly this one will come up, and then what you can do is you can go into the graph in here, which we'll do. And you'll see this is the temperature meet, the internal temperature slowly climbing. And this is the temperature of the outside as it's been going up and down so as we've been adjusting it. So uh, we'll uh, get back to you when we're done. So guys, we're getting ready to get the gravy and the peas together. And I've uh, got the uh, jet boil here going. And uh, what we'll see eventually is this will go yellow. And we know when uh, we've got it boiling right. And I've uh, got the gravy out ready to go as well, just sitting down here and uh, we'll put that into the pot and uh, mix up our gravy when we're ready to go. So you can see it's starting to go yellow, I think. So as the whole thing goes yellow, you know then uh, that your water's ready to go. So I've taken two speeds to... to, to, to <laughs> Shit. I've taken two teaspoons of the mixture and I've placed it in here. Um, we boiled some water, which I'm going to take off here. So just pour it straight in. And then I'm going to simply take no. this uh, and pour it straight in so like this. So it was 200 mils. Is that 200 no, mils? No, that's enough over way. Right, wonderful. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> And then we're going to give it a bit of a mix to get any lumps out. It's a beautiful mixture. It'll make our roast lamb very moist, very tasty. I think we're going to add, need to add a bit more a bit of this gravy to that as well. <laughs> it will gradually thicken. <laughs> All right then. So we're looking at around about another 19 minutes to cook everything. So we're going to have a look at the roast as well, sitting over here. So it looks pretty good. Now we've lowered it down a little bit and we put the onion sitting over there in the corner over there. And we've turned the corner around a couple of times as well. So um, that's that lot going. And we've got the potatoes and whatnot uh, all sitting in the fireplace in here. So we'll get a load out shortly as well. 
All right, so the potatoes are ready. We've taken them out of the uh, um, the fire, cut them in half, and now I'm just putting the loading toppings on. Some corn, some pineapple, some coleslaw, a little bit of cheese, and then we'll top it off with some sour cream. Um, and uh, then we've, we've cooked up some peas. Um, we've got some gravy, and we're just letting the meat rest at the moment. So bon appetit, everyone. Okay, guys, so uh, we've got the uh, roast all cooked up, and uh, yep, so we're ready to um, serve it up now and um, put it into our dinner. So, looking forward to it. Okay, guys, so um, this is it, ready to go. Uh, so, I've got some corn over here on my one, um, some gravy, and some sour cream. And my sister got sour cream and um, uh, mushrooms as well. So, uh, bon appetit, eh? I'll uh, tell you what it's like afterwards. Okay.